and I'm at the Toronto P-Flag Gala where we're honoring TV's original P-Flag mom, Sharon Glass. How does it feel to be the original P-Flag mom? Um, the original? Pardon? I think it may be the original. The original P-Flag mom on TV? I think so, at least in America, but we shot it all here. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, it's an honor. It's, it's wonderful. I've, I've learned a great deal. I've been educated. For a lot of people who did watch Queer as Folk, that moment, you know, seeing that, that probably changed a lot of lives. That probably opened up people to a whole new world of, of, of acceptance, you know. How does that make you feel? Uh, wonderful. Humbled. Um, we used to receive a great deal of mail from especially the young men saying how their lives were changed and in some instances lives saved. Um, one of the saddest letters I ever got was from a boy who said, my best friend never got to see Queer as Folk. You didn't come on in time. And, he ended his life. He said, but I saw you in time, and I'm still alive and grateful, thank you. So I think it had its impact. Um, I love those boys. What's your connection to P-Flag? You know, how, how, you know, how, how do you feel being here and presenting this award today? Well, I love Sharon. She's a very close friend. We live very uh, close to each other in Miami, and um, She's always there as a friend. As she says, we never close. So you can call her at 3 a.m. and she'll be there for you. And she deserves this award. I think every 50-year-old lesbian like me in uh, America and possibly Canada grew up with a crush on her from Cagney and Lacey. And uh, then she serves so many people by playing Debbie Novotny on Queer as Folk and the kind of mother that every gay person deserves. So I think she's uh, been out there and fighting for human rights from the beginning. And this is uh, another chapter of her legacy. I don't think I have. Oh, nice. Honorable oh, win. Yes, congratulations. Thank you. Historic and wonderful. Thank you. This very is Rosie much. O'Donnell. It's so wonderful that Toronto is the city that Queer as Folk was shot in, and Sharon played what my exposure to the very first P flag mom I'd ever seen. Same with me. The first time I actually thought that that's a role that someone could be that mom and that you could talk to your kids that way and you could talk to your kids' friends if their parents wouldn't talk to them and you could look them in the eye and not look away from them. I just wanted to ask you what it was like to, to, to meet some uh, um, local LGBT my heroes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting. So what can I tell you about Sharon Gless? She's done so much for so many. Women's rights, Roe v. Wade, up there in the forefront, marching, doing everything she could, using her voice. Sharon Gless deserves this award and every award. If she would only leave her handsome, talented husband, Barney, she knows I am the next in line. I've spoken to my wife, Michelle. She is okay with it. She said she wants one night a week herself. And who the hell could blame her? Um, I don't know what else to tell you besides she's as beautiful on the inside as she is on the out. Please welcome my good friend, Sharon Glass. I fell in love with Rosie O'Donnell when we worked together on Queer as Folk and I never recovered. <laughs> she and I were having a drink together and I said, you know, I love you so, so much. And um, do you think... Um, <laughs> It took a lot of balls, guys, to do this. Do you, you know, I'm just, um, and she said, oh, Glessie. <laughs> she said, no. <laughs> she said, you are so straight. <laughs> but God, <laughs> I want you to know, for all of you who ever since Cagney and Lacey thought that I was gay, I gave it my best fucking shot. <laughs>